Welcome to the second video in a series where we explore delivery styles. In the previous video, I provided an overview of how learners learn through reading, listening, and practicing. These delivery styles are on a spectrum. As we move down the spectrum, we can cover less material, but the learners are more likely to retain the content we focus on. So there is a trade-off where we give up breadth to get more depth. We also explored reading as a way for learners to cover difficult content or a large volume of content. Let's talk about our second delivery style, where learners listen. As a teacher, I find face-to-face -face delivery really rewarding. It's an opportunity to explain expectations and motivate learners to push themselves to meet those expectations. You can show enthusiasm for the content and get learners engaged. You have the benefit of your learners' nonverbal language and in-person questions and feedback. These are great cues for adjusting your delivery to adapt to their needs. There are many ways to optimize lectures and presentations. Stories geared toward your outcomes are a good example. Our brains are wired to engage with stories. One of my favorite stories to tell in research courses is about why print sources are still relevant today. When I was articling, I had to look up a version of a statute from the 1970s. After fumbling online, my supervisor told me to go to the library. I like to describe in my story the unique smell, a combination of old paper, ink, and dust. I describe the ingenious cross-referencing systems in the print sources that were required before electronic sources were available. Why tell this story? So learners understand why print sources are still important, when to use them, and how they are organized. Other ways to optimize presentations include starting with a roadmap so learners understand your structure. I like starting my lectures with high-level questions that get learners to summarize content we already discussed and make links with upcoming content. I'm often pleasantly surprised by how much learners can teach themselves through this process. Of course, include examples in your explanations. And don't forget your passion. It is your number one tool for getting learners engaged during listening delivery. If you feel that you are presenting something that you are not passionate about, ask yourself, what is its relevance? How does it support the outcomes? Is there a better style for teaching this content? Likely, the answers will lead you to remove the content or teach it through another style, such as reading or practice problems. In our next video, we will cover how learners learn through practice.